Hello and welcome to a two-wheeled episode of Go on Shaw TV. Now, as I've mentioned before on the show, I am a car guy. But motorcycles? Well, let's find out at the Tradex Center at the Motorcycle Show. Motorcycles are very interesting. I do understand their allure. Many are very beautiful. But perhaps my detachment to them comes from the fact that I'm very risk averse. Anyway, let's change the subject and bring up the fact that I also go to a Mennonite church. But I'm not Mennonite, not historically. See, the Mennonites have a rich history here in the Fraser Valley, and to showcase that, they've opened up a new museum in Abbotsford. Danny Gonsalves met up with its president to get an inside look on how this incredible building came to be. The Fraser Valley has always been rich in history. We've heard many stories of the past settlers, but it's something that's rarely seen, especially in the Mennonite community. Until now. That's because the first Mennonite Museum has opened up in Abbotsford, and hundreds of people showed up to support its grand opening, including Premier Christy Clark. This uh, institution here will be a reminder for people not just of what the Mennonite community has contributed, but a reminder of how Canada represents a place of peace and refuge to still today for peoples who are persecuted all over the world. But no one could be more proud of today other than Peter Redekop, whom for him, it all started with an idea. I was in Elkhart, Indiana, and visiting or working with our EMBS seminary, and they had a museum close by, and as a tourist, uh, some of the friends there, they took me to the, the museum that was there, and, and I really liked it. And I said, this is one way to tell our story. And as I traveled back to the seminary over the next 10 years, I kept going back and looking at it and I said, this is such a fantastic idea they did here, but we have nothing in the West. So I said, I have to build one in the West. Five years later, the museum was built and is now open to all who wish to learn of the Mennonites' rich history. Uh, the message is simply for our next generation, our kids, to see what we kind of endured over the four or five hundred years to maintain our faith. We were persecuted in Holland in the beginning, that's where it started, and in Switzerland. We moved on to Prussia, and then they were persecuted again, and then we moved to Russia or, or Ukraine, but then communists came and then everything changed, and we were persecuted again. And we moved with the German army to Germany, and eventually we got ourselves to Holland, and we had an uncle in Winnipeg area, and he sponsored us to come to Canada. So in 1947, December the 2nd, we arrived in Halifax on the boat, and that was so exciting. You just don't have the understanding what a refugee feels like. Nobody wants you. No country wants you. You're just roaming around. Stalin wanted us, but we weren't going to go because they were going to send us to labor camps, right? And I remember clearly December the second week, six or seven o'clock, we arrived in Halifax. We were on the deck of the ship, and we said, that country wants us. We'll accept that. It's an awesome feeling. To find out more about the Mennonites' culture and history, be sure to check out all the records on Clearbrook Road. In Abbotsford, I'm Danny Gonsalves for Go on Shaw TV.